Gavin Gee here from makingwithmetal.com and ultimatereloader.com. I just finished the core part, my 224 Valkyrie Remington 700 bolt action rifle build. You're going to want to check out the last video where I walked through all the details for the components I'm going to use for both the AR-15 build and this Remington 700 build. In this video, I'm going to start walking you guys through the process of doing all of the barrel work and building out this rifle kind of end to end. And what I'm going to talk about in this video is one of the most critical aspects of doing a rebarreling job, of doing a chambering job, and that's to build out your build sheet. That's right, we gotta take measurements, we gotta make sure that we understand this Remington 700 action design so that all the machine work that we do and the chambering job that we do is to spec, things are gonna function properly, and they're gonna be safe. So let's walk over to the whiteboard and I'm gonna walk you through all of the considerations. So before we get into the specifics, what is a build sheet? This is the actual build sheet that I used for this 224 Valkyrie Remington 700 build. It's basically all of the key components, all the dimensions that you've measured, and all the tolerances and allowances that you've calculated. You can double check this against a blueprint for the action that you're building on. And I would also suggest, especially if it's the first time through a build on a particular type of action that you cross-reference with a gunsmith that you know. I talked to BillMar at RifleShooter.com, I talked to Gordy Graders, and I talked to the guys at Benchmark Barrels, whose match grade barrel steel I'm using for the build. Because I wanted to you know, measure three times and cut once. Okay, so let's get into this. You know, Before we can create the build sheet, we really need to study the action design that we're building for and make sure we know what all the key dimensions are and how things are gonna come together. I will note that when we screw the barrel into the receiver and we torque it down, everything is gonna get compressed a little bit, about two thousandths of an inch. And that's another key consideration when we're calculating what are we gonna turn you know, the tenon to and how deep are we gonna cut the chamber. You gotta know what that crush factor is. So. Let's walk through the components. We've got the barrel here, and this shows the barrel after the machining operations we're gonna perform as a part of the chambering process. And then for a Remington 700, we've got a recoil lug that's separate, the receiver, and the bolt. Now, I'll note that for the Remington 700, it's, it's kind of a cool design because they've got the three rings of steel, right? You got your bolt nose, you got the section of the tenon outside the counterbore, and then you've got the receiver, and that case room is held with those three concentric rings, which makes it amazingly tough and amazingly strong. All things we need to know about and know how these components interface with each, with each other when we're creating our build sheet. So, what we're gonna do is take some, some key measurements. I had a couple takeoff barrels, so I measured the tenon diameter where the threaded section is, got a couple values for that, and confirmed that those were the same, and that's what I ended up cutting that to kind of in the end. We're gonna to wanna to assemble the receiver with the bolt installed and handled down, and we're gonna to wanna to put the recoil lug on the end as a, an assembly. Now my recoil lug is oversized, and that actually lengthens the tenon, because we have to account for that extra thickness. So you gotta use your rifle, your components assembled like this, and then take some key measurements. You're gonna measure from the front face of the recoil lug to the front face of the bolt lugs. From the front face of the recoil lug to the bolt nose, and then from the front face of the recoil lug to the bolt face. You're gonna also want the diameter of the bolt nose itself as well. And what we're gonna do with some of this data is look at some of the tolerances that we're gonna need so that we can calculate the values for different lengths and diameters. So end play, from the end of the tenon to the bolt lug front face, in this case, is gonna be eight thousandths to ten thousandths of an inch. And this is after the crush. The side play is how much radial you know, tolerance you have between the bolt nose and the counterbore diameter. I talked to Gordy Gritters about this because I've got an untrued out of the box Remington 700 action. I need a little bit more tolerance here so that I can assure that things won't be hitting each other binding up. So I decided on 10 to 12 thousandths of an inch for that side play. Bolt nose clearance would be the front of the bolt nose to the depth of the counter bore, and I went with five to 10 thousandths of an inch for that. And then again, our crush allowance when we tighten the barrel into the receiver is gonna be about two thousandths of an inch. 
So when we go through this exercise, we're gonna get a set of numbers, we're gonna draw up a build sheet. I would suggest taking your time, take multiple measurement mathematical <laughs> computations, compare those against each other, and then take your measurements again, you know, your depth measurements, your diameter measurements, to make sure that you're completely confident that you haven't made a mathematical error. You're accounting for crush. You're just making sure that everything is absolutely calculated right and within spec before you start to cut. So that's creating a build sheet. In the next video, we're gonna actually start the process. We're gonna take the barrel blank, we're gonna cut it down, we're gonna get it installed on the lathe and get it trued up, get it indicated, and then we'll be ready to start actually cutting and chambering. This is totally cool stuff and I absolutely can't wait to shoot this 224 Valkyrie bolt gun. Totally cool configuration. A lot of interest on this stuff online. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of this 224 Valkyrie shooting, reloading, you know, rifle build action, please make sure you're subscribed to Gavin Tube with notifications. Until next time, happy machining, happy shooting, and happy reloading.